G'day YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick look at uh, some of the differences and similarities between uh, Ubuntu 20.04 on the left and Kubuntu 20.04 on the, uh, the right here. So starting off, as you can see, they do look fairly different uh, straight off the bat. Reason for that being is the, de the desktop environment. So on the left, Ubuntu is using the GNOME desktop environment. It's been using for some time. And on the right, as you might guess, is the, the, the KDE Plasma desktop environment. That's where the K comes from in Kubuntu. So uh, it's a little bit more of a, a resource heavy, uh, yeah, bigger operating system there. A lot of functionality though, widgets, all sorts of things like that there. But uh, moving on, if we were to have a little bit of a look at uh, the window managers here as well, we've got the Dolphin file manager, we'll call it, for the uh, Kubuntu on the right, and on the left we've got this nice cool streamlined looking, uh, nice dark mode uh, files or Nautilus file manager here. I do tend to like this file manager better than the Kubuntu one, but you know, each to their own really in many ways there. If we were to move on and have a look at a few more things, we can have a look at the, the kernel. So the kernel, as you might guess, is it's going to be running the same kernel. So both of these versions of Ubuntu are running on the long-term service release, last for about three to five years, depending on how you look at it. So pop it on a machine and you can have it for many, many years, this uh, operating system here, which is really good to see there as well. Um, and there we go, the desktop environment from, from before, as I've mentioned. Um, now, in terms of applications, they are a little bit different. You've got your standard GNOME applications here for Ubuntu, but on the Kubuntu side of things, you've got a lot of uh, K-based uh, applications. Uh, console, Kate, KGuard, anything with a K on it, basically. It's basically a, a KDE Plasma version, uh, a much more perhaps prettier version at least, more visually appealing. I don't think that's the case at all, but I think that's really what they were going for there. And a little bit all, all seamless and together. But uh, you can uh, you can download on, and install apps from one to the other and vice versa. So it's not something that you should too much worry yourself about. So that's pretty much it guys. I just thought I'd do a super simple quick video. The last video I did lost uh, a lot of the audio feed, if not all of it, and uh, hates me to, to put the same video on again or attempt to record it. We'll, we'll see how we go this time. But uh, yeah, a little bit of a look at uh, Kubuntu on the right versus Ubuntu on the left. So cheers guys, hope you've enjoyed.